So welcome everyone and good morning or good afternoon, depending on your location. Um, today is Training Tuesday and I am Heidi Reese. We are so glad that you could join us today for our Sleeve Lock Training Tuesday. Before we get to it, there are a couple of items to go over. Like usual, everyone that calls in has been muted so that the webinar can be free of other disruptions on the line and uh, then you can enjoy the moment of listening and learning. But please don't let that stop you from asking any questions that you may have. You can do that during and at the end of the presentation through the chat functionality in Zoom. Um, at the end, I will read those and we will get them answered for you. Each of our webinars are also recorded and placed on YouTube, Dayton Superior's channel, as well as the DaytonSuperior.com website. Just search for product videos and you can find all of the past ones. A little bit later on, I will send out an email to let you know that this one is available as well. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the sleeve lock grout system and touching upon what and when to use it, various project details about it, obtaining stronger connections with it, and then the unique features of the sleeves themselves. And today we have with us one of our great technical service representatives in the splicing group, Sam Conley. So Sam joined us back in 2021 as our splicing products technical sales representative for the East, and he provides sales support along with technical and product training for his customers, his specifiers, as well as the State Department of Transportation in his region. He has 24 years of experience in the construction industry, focusing on rebar sales, fabrication, and job site installations. That brings very relevant knowledge to what we're going to be discussing today and any technical questions that you might have for him. Sam is also an active member of the Concrete Reinforcing Steel Institute's Anchorage and Splicing Committee, and he is eager to tell us more about the sleeve lock grout. So with that, Sam, take it away. Thanks for the intro, Heidi. I'm pleased to be here today and also want to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us. Dayton Superior is a leading provider of engineered solutions for the concrete construction industry and specializes in chemicals, accessories, and forming. Its proven solutions can be found in forming and shoring and concrete repair, rebar splicing, bridge deck, precast, and tilt up construction in our industry leading position in the design, manufacturing and distribution of concrete construction products is backed by more than 100 years of experience. Dayton Superior is a preferred partner of distributors, contractors, architect, architect and engineering professionals that demand the highest quality and most technically advanced products and services in the construction industry. And today we're showcasing sleeve lock, Dayton Superior's grouted mechanical rebar coupler. So a sleeve lock and the specifically formulated sleeve lock grout, precast connections are simple, straightforward for fast, easy, and cost-effective construction. So the sleeve lock system is a splicing system that's used to mechanically connect two precast elements with rebar. It's a non-threaded grout sleeve and provides a type two splice that complies with uh, the ACI 318 specifications for rebar splicing. So it's made up of several components. The sleeve itself is a cast ductile iron sleeve. It utilizes the uh, um, seal plugs on either end to seal the end and to provide for a uh, rebar placement. It also uses a form plug that is expandable and provides a secure attachment of the sleeve to the formwork. There are also grout ports that are provided that utilize three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC along with the um, plugs to cover those grout tubes to prevent concrete from penetrating into the sleeve during concrete placement. So this illustration nicely shows the installed aspect of the uh, sleeve lock. This system is easy to install. All its components come from one source. Everything is there available from Dayton Superior for 
easy, quick installation. Um, you can see here how the installation occurs with the, the uh, sleeve lock being attached to the form with the, the form plug that we looked at earlier. The grout tubes have been installed into the, the ports. The rebar has been installed through the form plug and it's being, re, uh, it's being uh, secured with individual high chairs underneath each bar. Um, there is a center stop in, this, in the middle of the sleeve to ensure that the rebar is placed adequately into the sleeve from either side. Um, the stacking feet that, that are cast into the sleeve also not only provide a, uh, um, a, a good mechanism for storage and inventory, but they also provide a little bit of a platform for additional uh, high chairs to be installed underneath the sleeve to provide extra um, reinforcement and uh, security during the uh, placement of the concrete in the consolidation. This is a good example of the installed condition. Again, you can see that the forms have been set. The sleeve locks have been put in place, secured with the form plug. It's a clear illustration of the grout tubes with the caps on top of them. Um, this situation is ready for concrete placement. Once that concrete is placed, um, the forms can be stripped. The elements can be loaded onto the uh, trailer and delivered to the job site for a quick, easy um, shipment. So now we'll take a look at a couple of um, completed projects. Uh, this is the uh, Glasshouse Tower in Winito Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, this project was constructed entirely during the winter months. Um, the low temperatures uh, during the winter months, severely low temperatures there, would have complicated the project in terms of um, a typical uh, cast in place concrete construction. So the Canadian contractors chose a different approach to it in that uh, they used precast elements. Um, so these precast elements were able to be precast at a local yard under controlled conditions and then shipped to the job site. All of the interior panels, the wall partitions, um, were precast and they were joined to the precast plank flooring using sleeve lock. You can see the panel being lifted into place. And in this picture, you can see the rebar dowels penetrating up through the uh, floor planks. The panel is then set on those dowels. And this is a good illustration of the um, grout ports that have been capped. Once the piece is put in place, those caps can be removed. The grout can be pumped into each one of the sleeve locks. And then um, during the curing, the panels can be braced and construction can continue. So this was a, a very efficient, cost-effective way for this contractor to address some severe weather conditions. So when transportation becomes an issue with exposed rebar dowels, um, we can offer an alternative solution to that, utilizing uh, a threaded uh, mechanical coupler cast into the, the precast component. In this case, you can see he, that the D101A um, threaded rebar coupler has, has been used. This is a flange coupler used as a form saver. And the, one of the unique things about it is it's forged completely out of the rebar in our manufacturing facilities, providing an integrated coupler and rebar splice solution. So that can be attached to the formwork. And then on the other element, you can see on the left-hand side here, the sleeve lock has been um, installed in the other piece. Um, during transportation then, there are no protrude, protruding rebar dowels that can cause any kind of damage or be damaged during the transportation. Once they're at the job site, the uh, panel can, the first panel can be set. 
then a threaded rebar dowel can be hand threaded into the uh, coupler and then the upper portion, the upper element can be lowered down the dowel going into the sleeve lock and then it can be grouted and they're ready to go. So here's a uh, quick video showing the entire um, installation process. So the forms are set. The form plug is loosely attached to the form work. It's important not to tighten it down at this point. Seal plug goes over one end of the sleeve lock, which is then installed onto the form plug. So now the form plug, the wing nut on the form plug can be tightened. This compresses the form plug and expands it and provides a secure attachment to the form work. The rebar can then be placed into the sleeve three quarter inch PVC grout tubes are installed. The concrete can be placed. It cures. The forms are stripped off. And then this element is ready to be placed on a lower element where rebar dowels are extended. You can see here the port caps, the plugs are removed. The grout is pumped into the lower port, fills the grout sleeve, and then vents out from the top. It's important in this situation to always fill the, the uh, sleeve from the lower port, as was shown there in the diagram. Once the grout vents out the top and there are no air bubbles and it looks consolidated, then it's clear that the uh, coupler has been filled with grout. The sleeve lock. D490 grout has been specially formulated to work with the sleeve lock coupler. The grout comes in a 50 pound bag with a yield strength of over 11,000 PSI. The grout's designed to be pumped and will develop a high compressive strength. It's designed to meet the ASTM standards of C1107, C827, and C1090. So the recommended application temperature for the grout is between 50 and 90 degrees. Some of the unique features of sleeve lock are shown here. It surpasses the industry type two connection for requirements. That type two connection is the stronger of the two types that is dictated by ACI 318. It also meets the Caltrans ultimate splice specification. So it's available in grade 60 and grade 80, and grade 80 using a high strength grout to accomplish that. Dayton Superior's sleeve lock requires fewer components than others that are on the market, which uh, enhances handling, inventory, and installation. So the uh, rebar does not require um, any end preparation, just needs to be straight uh, without any burrs. So it fits right into the, uh, the sleeve lock itself. Dayton Superior sleeve lock is a complete system. All the components are readily available, including the grout. So this, uh, once again, it just makes ease of use uh, an important portion um, of the, uh, an important feature of the, the entire system. Everything is available from one source, except for the concrete and the rebar. So Dayton Superior recently introduced the new number five hybrid sleeve lock. So this new product combines the features of the taper lock system with the sleeve lock system by incorporating the taper lock coupler on one end of the grout sleeve. So this provides a threaded coupler onto the grout sleeve. So it's an alternative system using the popular tapered rebar thread. 
So the tapered thread provides an easy installation and most importantly provides the full strength of the type two splice with just hand tightening. No torque wrench is required. So this is a very important feature during the uh, installation process that saves um, time and money during that process. Additional sizes for the, uh, the hybrid grout sleeve um, are in the works and will be introduced over the coming months. But right now, the uh, number five hybrid is currently available. We're also pleased to uh, announce that the sleeve lock grout sleeve um, has been reviewed by IATMO and has been evaluated for compliance with the uh, Ashto bridge design and construction specifications. So the, uh, universe, uni the um, uniform evaluation service has uh, taken a look at um, the product, all of our testing material, and it certifies that the um, sleeve lock system performs as uh, advertised. So this report is available on our website and is available from um, uh, any of your uh, local dealer reps or technical sales reps as well. So a couple of more um, applications that we can take a look at um, on our uh, job products. I mean, I'm sorry, job site um, profiles. This is the uh, Indiana University, Purdue University campus in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And um, this was, a, as all educational facilities are, it was a tight schedule. Uh, the facility needed to be ready um, to be used when the uh, academic term began. Um, Course Lab used the grout sleeve to make con structural connections between the precast segments in this project, including the, the stairwells, the stairs, all the structural elements within the parking garage. Um, it was, uh, there were many sleeve locks used on this project and provided for quick, easy installation that speeded the uh, entire construction process and enabled the contractor, the course lab, to uh, have that project done on time and ready for the academic term. This structure is a mixed use apartment building and parking structure that utilized post-tension um, slabs, concrete slabs. This provide, this creates a, a little bit of a challenge for the contractor because this type of construction typically will have a pour strip that uh, cannot be completed until all the rest of the structure has been completed. So they need to, they need to complete the structure, come back and, and then um, readdress the pour strip. Um, in this instance, it was the pour strip would have been located between the apartment floor slab and the parking structure. It would have required additional temporary shoring and additional form work and additional effort. Um, Sun Construction used sleeve lock to eliminate the pour strip in this project. Um, they were able to actually epoxy one end of the um, sleeve lock to the, uh, the slab. Um, they were able to pour it using an expansion joint that eliminated the pour strip. They were allowed, that provided for a more seamless construction process and they were able to uh, more efficiently complete the entire project. Um, they saved uh, approximately, or at least up to eight weeks of uh, time and labor in this project, realizing a significant cost savings in it. So many of you may be familiar with the accelerated bridge construction uh, delivery process that's gaining more popularity across the country. Um, this program is designed to um, demo and replace bridges in um, a very quick pace, um, far quicker than, than most traditional construction. And this, this example is an Iowa Department of Transportation project, the Cade Creek Bridge on US-6. Um, this had a 14-day um, uh, 
construction schedule. That's 14 days from demo to opening. So obviously it's a very challenging situation, uh, but the, counter, the uh, um, design included a sleeve lock to facilitate that, that process and to, to quicken the construction sequence. Um, once the demo was complete, drilled shafts were installed with rebar dowels extending up out of the top of the, the caisson. Um, Precast bridge piers and pier caps were cast off site um, and integrated sleeve lock into their design. In this case, the, uh, the bridge pier would have been um, installed on top of the caisson. And you can see in the, the photo here on the right side, I'll turn my laser back on here. Um, on this, the photo on the right hand side here, you can see once that has been installed, the, um, the, the grout ports are visible and the grouting process is being conducted on the, uh, the, um, pier, the uh, bridge piers in order to create that secure structural connection. Um, a similar application was done on the pier cap up above that as well. So sleeve lock was a critical piece of the uh, construction process allowing the contractor to get this bridge done in um, very quick pace. It was a 40, 47 foot wide by 210 foot long bridge. So it was a significant structure that um, sleeve lock was a part of and that we're very pleased to be able to, to help them get that done on time. So sleeve lock played a major role in connecting the outfield wall for the new Florida Marlins baseball stadium. Uh, tilt up was the construction method selected, but the height of the panels uh, were too tall for a single pick. So they broke the panel height into two and used sleeve lock to make the structural connections and incorporated the use of the AccuBrace system as well. So once again, good illustrations here on the right-hand side of the rebar dowel sticking up out of the lower uh, segment. And you can easily see the um, sleeve lock um, ends after they've been cast into the upper panels along with the capped uh, grout tubes um, ready to receive grout once that's installed. So good illustrations of the application there. So as usual, Dayton Superior has many resources available um, for technical support, including the sleeve lock grouted rebar splicing application guide. And the application guide contains all of the details for the sleeve lock components, um, engineering data, all of the installation instructions, as well as troubleshooting um, and uh, questions and answers as well. Um, the technical data sheets for the sleeve lock coupler, as well as the um, sleeve lock grout are available on our website at www.daytonsuperior.com. So that concludes my portion of this. Um, I th thanks again for joining us to learn about sleeve lock. Um, and at this point, I'll turn it back over to Heidi. Right, thank you, Sam. I appreciate all that. And I definitely learned a lot. Hope you guys did too. And while others are putting in any of their questions through the chat, I do wanna mention Steve. Um, I noticed you wrote on there on a tilt-up project, we supply D1S anchor bolt sleeves to enable slight movement of the rebar exiting the top of the concrete wall panel. That's a, that's a good solution and thank you for sharing that with everyone. I do want to remind everyone that we have these weekly with different people uh, presenting and different subject matter. Next week, we're gonna be looking at uh, rebar splicing techniques so you can sign up for that. Um, Again, today's presentation is being recorded and I'll let you know when that's available. And uh, are there any other questions? All right, well, I appreciate everyone joining. I'll just give it a quick minute or a second to let you type or finish typing if you do have a question. Um, again, you can find all of this material that was mentioned on DaytonSuperior.com. 
You can search via the PDF. There is a resource at the very top of the website that produces technical data sheets for you or just type in the product that you want and you can find all of the links on the product pages. Type in product videos and you can find all of the past as well as um, non-training Tuesday videos present out there. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude our Training Tuesday for this week. And Sam, thank you for presenting. And thank you all who are on the call. Till next time, have a happy Tuesday. Thanks, Heidi.